In this video, I am talking about the seven stylish spring trends that you can wear right now. Welcome back to Secrets of a Stylist. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Kim, I'm a fashion stylist. And for those of you who do, welcome back. I'm excited to see you guys. Today I'm talking about spring trends. Spring trends are always my favorite because I love the weather getting warmer. It's always fun prints, lots of colors. I know I don't typically lean towards color, but in the spring, I really actually do and I find it a lot of fun. So there's a lot of trends out there and it's hard to know what is right for you, what is not right for you, and what is just a total disaster. So today I'm gonna to give you just the easiest trends that I love that we saw come down the runways that are very easy to add into your wardrobe. Number one, spring florals. Okay, so spring florals is not exactly groundbreaking. We see the florals come out every spring. However, this spring, it has really changed. Kind of like the dress I'm wearing, it's a little more retro, the prints are a little more 60s, 70s inspired, and they're just, I find, a lot more fun. So here's what you do when you see the florals out in the stores. So pick something in your color palette, in your style and something that's right for your body type. And if you have questions about all of those things, I have a video on body types and wardrobe essentials and how to find your style. I will list all of those down below in the description box. Go with something that is your vibe. So if you don't normally wear pink, don't pick the, flower, the pink flowers. If you wear neutrals, there's gonna be neutral flowers out there. So kind of go with your own vibe and add something that in, into your wardrobe that's not overly expensive. I usually like to choose something that is actually well-crafted, but not at the super expensive end of the spectrum because it might not be something that you will wear all the time. So there you go, spring florals, there are tank tops, t-shirts, a wrap dress is a fantastic thing to add in your wardrobe because it's something that's easy to wear in the spring, especially something with long sleeves, something like this, because you may not need a jacket and I can wear this with booties and I can also wear it with sandals. Spring florals. The second trend that we saw come down the runway was hot pants. So super short shorts. So not everyone, this is not a trend for everyone, obviously, but if your legs are your best asset, so let's say you have a um, apple body type or you're, you're a rectangle, shorts, super short shorts can be great for you. So these don't have to be booty shorts, they're just short shorts. In fact, Chanel, I believe, paired them down the runway and they actually put tights underneath them. So if you're a little more young and more youthful and that's something that you wanna do, that's a great option, but Short shorts will look fantastic on those of you with great legs. So you can actually pair short shorts with a, a, a simple like white silk blouse and a pair of booties and keep it very classic. Vegan leather shorts, they can also be short. They have like a paper bag um, waistband that you can cinch in if you're an hourglass. It highlights your waist, amazing shorts for you. I'll leave a link to a bunch down below. They're fantastic and you can pair them with so many things. So if you guys are cringing when I say short shorts and you're like, no, I don't like that. The third trend that's on the list for spring that I think is very stylish and easy to wear is the Bermuda short trend. So if you want to really shy away from the short shorts, but you're okay to wear shorts and you love the idea of Bermuda shorts, they are also trending. And actually the thing that they're trending with is the oversized blazers. So if you have any of those oversized blazers in your wardrobe, a pair of Bermuda shorts would look fantastic. If you're an hourglass, you can actually belt that and give yourself a waist. If you don't like that and you wanna have it long and flowing, that's a great option for you. It's super cute. You can wear booties with them, you can wear sandals. It's a fantastic look and something that you you might want to try out. Number four is another trend that I personally love and really works for my body type. There was all sorts of tiered dresses and skirts that came down the runway. This is something that I personally love. I have an inverted triangle body, which means that my shoulders are wider than my hips and my butt. So I love to add volume on the bottom of my body because that gives me an illusion of an hourglass shape. So any of you guys that are ectomorphs or rectangles, you're really straight up and down, using the tiers to give yourself a little bit of movement and some shape is fantastic. Anyone that's inverted triangle like me, something that has some ruffles on the bottom, beautiful. I actually wore a hot pink ruffled dress to a fashion event a few months ago. It's on my Instagram, you guys can check that out. So that's something that's really trending. I love it, it's very feminine, it's very girly, and you can add it to whatever body part works for you. 
Spring trend number five, the polka dots. I personally am a huge fan of polka dots. And now this season we're seeing them in like oversized shapes. So like really big polka dots, super small, like minuscule polka dots that you can barely tell. It's just a really, I love the classicness of a black and white polka dot. In fact, when I was in Hawaii this year, I actually found a polka dot romper that I wore all the time. But you can choose the polka dots that work for you. Again, I feel like even though it's a trend, polka dots are actually a little bit of a classic piece to have in your wardrobe. So like a polka dot blouse or a polka dot romper is a little bit more casual and relaxed. A cute pair of polka dot shorts, you could combine the trend and have maybe have a Bermuda pair, you wear them with loafers and a plain white shirt. Something that I will advise you when you're wearing polka dots is just to make sure that you downplay everything else that you have on. So if you have a polka dot like dress on, oh, polka dot wrap dress, find one of those. That'll be fantastic on every body shape. But maybe you wanna just keep everything a little more chill because that is really gonna pop. So you wanna keep your shoes neutral. You could add like a red purse or something like that. But overall, I tend to just downplay everything else. Trend number six is spring leather. So we saw this come down in all the runways. I saw it in like oversized coats and shorts and full dresses. So a great option out there is vegan leather. It is affordable. It is not hurting anything. It's a fantastic thing to have a lot of like almost every brand has vegan leather and it's amazing. You can actually get a really cute dress. Here's a picture of me on my Instagram. I found a full vegan a-line dress is fantastic. I wore it to fashion week, I loved it. An oversized vegan leather trench coat or some sort of overcoat, blazers, skirts. But anyway, you get the idea and it's come in like many different colors. So you can go with the different colored options or you can stick to the neutrals, which is what I often do. But it's a great addition to use in your wardrobe, especially, I'm gonna say, leather shorts or a leather or a vegan leather blazer, fantastic piece to add to your wardrobe for spring. The seventh spring trend that I'm loving this year is crochet. One of my friends is Anna Kosarova. She is one of the pioneers in crocheted clothing. I'm gonna leave a link to her website down below. It has been worn by models and celebrities all over the world. It is amazing. I have a bunch of pieces myself. You can see a picture of me right here. I was wearing a crochet kimono by Anna Kosarova in Hawaii. So this is not just your grandmother's doilies anymore. There is beautiful dresses and bathing suits and everything coming out in this. And it's actually, I love it. I think it actually is a trend, but it's also quite classic. I've had my crochet pieces for years and they always look classy on vacation. Another trend that I just wanted to talk about that's out here is feathers. Feathers came out on the runway for spring as well. It is not my personal favorite. I don't really like wearing feathers and I don't really like seeing them out there, but if you can find faux feathers, I just wanted to mention the trend. Sometimes you'll see them like embellished on the top of the dress. They might be on the sleeves of a shirt. I think it's a fantastic option and if you're into that look, they're definitely out there. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did and subscribe and I will send my emails to your inbox and you will get them. It's free to subscribe and we will hang out. So in closing, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if there's some trends down below in the comments that you love or if you have any questions. I always answer your questions. Something else I wanted to let you guys know, I will be going live every time I launch a YouTube. I will be online for like the first half an hour roughly of the video, unless I happen to be traveling or something like that. But I will be there to answer questions and actually be with you live. So come say hi to me and uh, I'll see you in the next video.